Welcome back. Psalm 18, part 2. All right. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your righteousness. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace upon our lives. Lord, help us to obey this message. Help us to learn about you more. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. So, Psalm 18, verse... At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed hailstones and coals of fire. <laughs> this talks about God's glory. This talks about his fire. Or it could be his, his presence and his fury, his wrath. His presence is glorious and wonderful, but his presence is also something that could be against our enemies. Uh, let's see. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice. Hellstones and coals of fire. Let me read you uh, Exodus 9, 23. And Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail and fire ran along upon the ground. And the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt. So, his presence is for good and for judgment of our enemies. And it could be us, too. So, we could be his enemy. Uh, according to Romans, at one time, we were his enemy. For those who uh, know Jesus. Let me read it to you. Okay, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life, <laughs> by his life. Okay, let's go back to Psalm. So. According to the psalm, they mention this, this judgment, this hail and thundering, a judgment, uh, twice. Verse thirteen: The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them he shot out lightnings and discomforted them it would discomfort me too did you know that God can make uh, lightning he can harness lightning and he could tell it where to go God is powerful it's even in Jeremiah where God created lightning awesome I read Jeremiah this week so uh, I don't remember the verse, but that's okay. It's in there. The channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, at God's rebuke. O Lord, at, uh, at the blast of the, of the breath. Of thy nostrils at the blast of his ruach, uh, the heavens can roll up into a scroll. I bet he sent from above, he took me and drew me out of many waters. 
He gave me salvation. He set my feet upon the rock. I think that's a, a verse. Well, anyway. But the rock is is Jesus. Uh, according to, I think it's 2 Corinthians chapter, or 1 Corinthians. Let me double check, yeah? I was thinking of 2 Corinthians 10, 3. For though we walk in the flesh, yeah, I think that's what it says, we do not war after the flesh. For our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds. Those are things that get in the way between you and your relationship with God. So let's go back to Psalms. He, he sent from above. He sent He sent from above. He He took me and drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy. And he and from them which hate me, for they were too strong for me. So the God of angel armies fought for me. That is awesome. I mean, that's it doesn't say that, but it says they prevented me in the day of my calamity, but. In the Lord was my stay. He was my defender. Even in calamity. Even when David's son, Absalom, took the throne from him and caused him to be a refugee in his own land. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delights in me. He delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands hath he recompensed, hath he repaid me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not done wickedly and have not wickedly departed from my God because God prepares a place for us he prepares a great place for us in heaven and even if we had our new bodies uh we would probably take a lifetimes to to explore all the things that God has for us because he loves us that much here according to this in verse 22 for all his judgments were before me and i did not put away his statutes from me because David read the Bible. David read God's law according to um, one of Moses' commands for kings or for people I was to read the, the word. Or maybe it was from Samuel. Samuel might have said that to read God's word uh, and daily. And Samuel took it serious or, or David took it seriously. Okay, verse 23. 
I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands in his eyesight. But if we choose to do the wrong thing and we sin as children as children as children of God, uh, we we can call ourselves out. We can blame we can tell God, you know, we agree with God that that we have sinned. And it says in the Bible that if we confess our sins Jesus Christ will cleanse us from all unrighteousness right and I going to the end of this book which is the wrong thing <laughs> you know what I'm going to end right here you guys have a great day